Hi everyone, welcome to another five minute Friday. Today we're making five fall cocktails in under five minutes. So let's get started. The first one we're making today is a classic spiked apple cider. Of course, everybody needs apple cider in the fall, but this one of course is boozy. Okay, so we're starting off with a fourth a cup of apple cider. This is for one cocktail, by the way. Two ounces of bourbon, you can also use vodka if you don't like bourbon. Half of a lemon. A little squirt of maple syrup. Then you shake it all up. Top it off with a little splash of ginger beer. Garnish it with an apple slice and a cinnamon stick. The next one is a martini that's getting a fall makeover. So we're doing a caramel apple martini for this next one. So we're gonna start with two ounces of vodka, one ounce of butterscotch schnapps, and a half a cup of apple cider. I'm gonna rim my martini glass with some caramel sauce. This is just the top of the caramel sauce container. Here's another remix on a classic, a whiskey sour with a red wine float at the top. This one is super simple, so we're just gonna start with, again, two ounces of bourbon. I'm gonna use a half of a lemon. And then you're gonna wanna use simple syrup, but if you don't have simple syrup, you can use a little bit of maple syrup. Just a little bit. And then shake it really good. And then we're gonna do the red wine float. And it's best to do this with a sweet red wine if you have it. This next one is for all my Harry Potter fans out there. We are taking a classic Harry Potter beverage and turning it up a notch with a boozy butterbeer. Okay, my ice machine is broken, so we are running out of ice a little bit. Normally I would put more than this, but we're gonna start with a cup of ice, two ounces of vodka, one ounce of butterscotch schnapps, a splash of caramel syrup, and topped off with some cream soda. And then the finishing touch, whipped cream. And the last one, of course, we couldn't leave pumpkins out of this fall cocktail making video, so we're doing a pumpkin old fashioned. All right, so we're starting with two ounces of bourbon again for this one. We're gonna do two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. aromatic bitters, a little bit of maple syrup, some orange juice, and of course, a really good shake on this one because of the pumpkin puree. So good. So that is it, let me know in the comments if you try any of these drinks and which ones are your favorites and I will see you next time.